everyone and welcome back to another airport update. Today it's going to be the same old thing for Austin International Airport. There are a few things that have changed, Frontier Service, or at least in the model airport, I haven't really been following the main airport. I've downgraded my American service here at the airport to kind of fit COVID. Again, it's not really as busy as it would be normally, so I'm trying to do that a little bit. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. It's a pretty normal Austin update. Now right now, this flight would not be operating, but it is in this model airport. That's what a model airport's for. So here we have a British Airways 777 in the Canada Tail livery. Um, livery no longer exists. It's still pretty cool though. Anyway, this aircraft is going to head out to London Heathrow. Just taxiing off the runway is a Alaska Airlines A319. This aircraft has just arrived in from Seattle. It's going to taxi to the gate, park there, and it's going to turn around and head right back out there. Now onto the Frontier Airlines section, or the south terminal here at Austin. Right here is a Frontier A320. This aircraft is going to head out to Denver. And our second and last Frontier aircraft is another Frontier A320. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Philadelphia. Usually I end on the international section here at Austin. I'm not sure why I usually just start at the left side of the airport and make my way over here to the international section. I'm going to change things up. We are going to start off in the international section. So here is a Lufthansa A330. This aircraft is going to head out to Frankfurt. Like the British Airways 777, it's not operating right now in real life. It would be operating normally. This is the aircraft they use as well, so yeah. Our other two international aircraft to the right, or kind of center, is a Aeromexico 737-800. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Mexico City and down at the bottom there is a Air Canada ERJ-170-175. That aircraft will be heading out to Toronto. Right here is a Southwest 737-200 in the Desert Gold livery. The aircraft does not exist anymore. The livery does. We'll just say it's a special livery. This aircraft has arrived in from Nashville and is going to head out to... I'm going to say Washington, or no, Baltimore. We're gonna, so this aircraft's coming in from Nashville and is going to head out to Baltimore. Next up here, we have a Southwest 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Los Angeles. Southwest 737-700 in the AirTran livery. This aircraft has, I'm gonna say this one is heading out to Chicago Midway. Next up here, we have a double shot in this update. The first aircraft is an American Airlines A321neo. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And at the back is a United 737-800 in the new livery. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Tampa or Airplane Man 79's airport. Just taxiing out to the runway is a Southwest 737-700 in the Colorado 1 livery. This aircraft is heading out to, you guessed it, Colorado. Or Denver and is just gonna taxi out to the runway and take off and another double shot here to the right is a United Express ERJ 170 this aircraft is going to be heading out to Denver and to the left is a Delta a220 this aircraft is going to be heading out to Minneapolis by the way this is a real route that flies to the airport really happy the a220 flies here Pretty exciting. And last but not least, here is a Delta 717. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Atlanta. So that should wrap up the update here. Hope you guys enjoyed. The reason why the I have not featured, I've gotten a new model and I've and I've done two updates now since that model has come out. The reason why I'm building a new airport, Philadelphia. That is why I bought, I'm buying a lot of American aircraft, because that's an American hub. Also, you may wonder where have the infinite flight streams been. 
Well, there's two reasons. Number one, I got sick during the when like in the last week of my subscription, so I couldn't really do that much. And also that kind of burned me out, so I didn't even when I did get better, I'm like, ah, I don't really want to do it. Also, my subscription ran out, and I just want to take a little bit of a break when you're doing one two-hour flights every day. It can get tiring after a while, as you might imagine. So that might not come back for another week or so. Don't worry, they will be back. I like them. They get me subscribers, so yeah. Anyway, that should wrap up this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Submit your subscription routes in the pinned in the link in the pinned comment. So that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.